Partnership versus shares. So I'm establishing a company. I'm a partner. I'm buying shares in the company. I'm not a partner. Even though I have shares now in this company. So there are two different rules for each one of them. So for buying shares, sometimes the company will deal with interest. The majority of the work of the company is lawful things, like they are manufacturing TVs, selling TVs. That's fine. They are dealing with interest. The majority of the work is halal. I'm buying shares in that company. Can I buy shares in that company knowing that they deal with interest? Yes, I can. Okay? But I want to start as a partner in a company. And that company is going to deal with interest. No, you can't. See the difference between the two? So buying shares in a company, you did not establish that company. That company is dealing with interest with a portion of that. That's fine. And we will put the caveats what to do. But I am starting a company that's going to deal with interest. No, it's not. You are not allowed. You will be liable. You will be accountable in front of Allah if that company that you are a partner in is dealing with something haram. If the buying person is buying shares, no problems, even if the company is dealing with the interest under four conditions. The amount of money of the company borrowed by interest is less than 30%. I'm speaking here about the European Fatwa Council, Fatwa, about buying shares in companies. But if that company has over 50% of their money being loaned from the bank by interest, then you cannot. So they say that it needs to be maximum up to 30%, so one third of the company is being borrowed by the bank on interest, or maximum they put 30% of their money in the bank for the purpose of interest as an income. So if they are putting as part of their income profit, 50% of their cash in the bank in order to take uh, the interest and, and count it as profit on them, then it's not allowed. So it needs to be 30% borrowing maximum for their operation, 30% uh, putting money and taking interest on it, the profit that is coming from interest must not exceed 5%. And then finally, you need to clear it. So if you are buying share in that company, make sure that that company does not borrow more than 30% for operational, does not put more than 30% of its money in the bank in order to get an income. The maximum interest income is 5%, and you need to clean it, meaning that if I discover that, that company, in their financial report, they are saying that 4% of their income is coming from interest. Then whatever I take from that company, 4% need to be cleaned. So I need to take it out from mine. So even though they have a portion of it is dealing with interest, that portion needs to be taken out of my income, my profit coming from these shares. But as we said, if the person is a partner not buying shares, then it's unacceptable for him to accept any dealings that, is, that are haram. But if he's buying shares, no problems. He can accept to be buying shares in companies that deal with interest under these four caveats. Any question about that? Um, so for the partnership, if they go in with the intention of everything being um, halal, halal and then later down the track, um, say one person decides to, to go to, to the haram, haram section, yeah. he's liable, he's accountable. Yeah. And the other person just has to give up their ownership. He's, he, needs, he needs to get out of there because he's a partner. So anyone who's going to use their service with the unlawful, unlawful transactions, then 
he's going to be accountable. Uh, Hannah, uh, there's also, I think, uh, companies where you can actually buy shares. And these companies, I think they call them ETFs. So um, uh, they do trades, you know, with so many different things. And uh, part of that could be haram, haram. products. So That's why it's, uh, we said the product needs to be halal. But if there is a haram coming from interest, then you can clear it. But if the product itself is haram, or part of it is haram. Now, if part of it is haram, you have two options. Either you just get, just don't come close, or if you can identify in the, in the, uh, for example, financial statement at the end, how much profit is coming from each part, then you can clear it and take the part that is halal. Which is very hard to do. Which is very hard most of the time to do.